what happened was that uh, in January 2021, um, we Tepo called uh, employees to tell them that they made an agreement with the government of Lesotho that Tepo is going to be turned into another COVID-19 center. So they will be bringing in more human resource that is nurses working for the government of Lesotho. They will be deployed to Tepo to assist in the fight against COVID-19. So those nurses who were deployed there, they are straight from school. But in terms of salary-wise, they were earning time is two or time is three of what nurses who are working at Tepo were earning. So the question, the expectation was that nurses who are working at Queen Mamahatu Manoa Hospital, they should transfer skills to these nurses who are coming from the government of Lesotho. So the, the question was, how do I transfer skills to somebody who earns more than what I'm supposed to earn? Two, why do you make an agreement with the government of Lesotho while you know that the money that I'm earning is not, I'm not going to be able to afford a healthier meal? This says, this uh, will, COVID-19 will definitely affect me because we are, we are fighting COVID using our immunity. You already know I'm not eating well because the money you're giving me, I cannot afford to buy anything. Secondly, you are not providing me with a place where I have to sleep. Therefore, for me to be able to work in a COVID positive center, I should sleep elsewhere, not with my family. So how am I going to be able to rent a house with this money that you are giving me? You are forcing me to go back to my family and I'm going to take this COVID-19 to my family and my family is going to die. And we have such cases within the organization of nurses bringing COVID home and their spouses as well as their families have died. Some, we have five nurses now as we talk, who have died out of COVID is our members. And one of them was even pregnant. She was pregnant and her story is even painful because she died, she did not even get her, her benefits or money that she was supposed to get for a very long time. She went to school, so she was not given the money that, that she was supposed to get while she's still at school with her study leave. So she came back, she was still expecting to be given that money. And upon her coming back, uh, she was working as a nursing assistant, yet she was now a trained uh, a nurse midwife. So that was the problem. So she died, she died, and she did not receive uh, the benefits of uh, uh, of her working uh, uh, SNS. So she's dead, her baby's dead, uh, her family has lost um, their loved ones. So their question was, who is going to protect me in this? How do you engage in such? So we tried to intervene as an organization because we understand that people's lives matter. So we wrote a letter to Tsepong uh, trying to have an understanding of what is it that is happening. Our members at that time were saying, you know what, I'm not going there. I've been exploited, I've taken it, but I'm not going to die. Somebody is not going to expose me to my death. Somebody is not going to expose my child as well as my family to death. And they're not prepared to do anything to protect us. So Tepon wrote us a letter that day after we, we talked, uh, we wrote them a letter. The following reasons. One, the agreement that they had between themselves and and uh, Tepo, as well as the government, that uh, vulnerable uh, our members. Two, we recognized through when we were still discussing that there are salary disparities, because our members submitted their pay slips here. That's where we noted that um, nurses are getting equivalent to half of what nurses who are working in the government facility are earning as well as the, the other uh, in, uh, private sector uh, which is child facilities what they are earning is equivalent to what the government facilities are paying so it was kind of odd because child is receiving the same money as well as net care is receiving the same money from the same government so that was odd we wanted to discuss that of what is happening why the salary disparity is same people work in the same condition, that, that nurses, same position, same job description, they're having the same experience, they're working in the same unit, but the money that they're getting is far different, such that we also found that within our members, there are juniors who are any more than their own supervisors at work. 
so it was kind of odd so through the engagement with the Ministry of Health as well as Tepo because we wrote to Tepo trying to discuss these issues and Tepo said they can't discuss anything with us so we went to the Ministry of Health through um, yeah through the, uh, the, the minister's office and we talked about these issues with him Tepo was expected to submit the salary structures to, uh, to the Minister of Health because we were claiming that yes indeed and we had shown him the salaries that indeed necessary are being exploited. It's like when they hire they just look at you and say I we think this one deserves 2.5 let's give her 2.5 that's it. So the, the, the basically we don't even know what they use in order for them to be able to to pay a person at a certain level. So that 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 was the challenge. So during this time, because our members cares about lives of Basoto, they continue to work. However, they were taken out through force. Uh, they were told they choose either to stop saying they want a fair pay or they get out of the uh, hospital facility. That's when at that time there were police at that time and they were given five minutes ultimatum to make a decision because of the history that they have with the police them shooting them assaulting them brutally such that our members will tell you fortunately they are here so they will tell you what transpired in 2012 when they were shot so they just left unfortunately 343 nurses at Tepong left and it's equivalent uh, from our estimate is equivalent to almost 95% of nurses working at Tepo or at uh, Queen Mama Hato Memorial Hospital. 300 and what? 343 nurses. Hmm. And critical wards were left without nurses. For example, a casualty had 32 nurses. All of those nurses left. They said if they have to choose whether to be assaulted by a police or be forced not to demand their fair pay, they would rather go at home because they were given a choice you stay we assault or we shoot or you go and they said i would rather go so 32 nurses who are working in casualty they left uh, the facility there was no nurse left in that emergency department we have neonatal icu uh, all the nurses working in icu they left such that to date a month later neonatal icu has shut down it's not working also in adult icu nurses all of them they left eye clinic eye department you name all these wards there was nobody left except these new nurses who were coming from school who were expected to be given a, a, a mentorship by nurses who are working there at net care so, resort so so tell us you guys went to government you're in the court what's happening now is there any relief you're getting from the courts? Thank you. We went, we went to Tsepong. Tsepong said they don't want to talk to us. We went to the government, the Minister of Health. We engaged in a series of meetings for weeks until they told us that there's nothing they can do. Who said Tsepong, that? Tsepong, the Minister of Health, through the executive. Because in those meetings... Who we exactly were said they can't help you? Min Minister of Health. Himself, mm -hmm. he said, the problem is that Tsepong or NetCare does not want to take responsibility. This is their responsibility to pay employees. We give them money uh, there as subvention. So we are expecting them to pay. Okay. So uh, then in the meantime, when nurses were still at home, uh, running away from the police, that's when Tepong sued the nurses, including the nurses association. Had it already fired you no. when it fired the nurses when it took the matter to court? They, they gave them an ultimatum that I mentioned. They were told it's either they stop demanding their fair salary and they go to work as normal or they get out of the hospital uh, premises. So they had five minutes and there were police. So they knew with their history of police being there, they knew it's either they stop uh, demanding their salaries or they go. So they took the no work, no pay which was uh, another ultimatum that was put on, 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 on that, uh, uh, what, uh, the ultimatum was like that. You take no work, no pay, you, you, you vacate the premises, or you stay, you stop demanding, or you will meet the, the security forces. So how far is the court case now? We went to court, and um, uh, the Tepong was the one who sued the nurses, 
and um, what they were requesting or they were requesting or pray, their prayers to the court one was that the matter is agent therefore it should um, uh, it should be given that agency because they are dealing with essential workers here and yeah so two they were granted that prayer that was prayer number one number two was that one the the nurses the allegedly the alleged strike uh, the, the 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 court should say it's illegal so it was yet to be debated today on the on the on the 10th of march it was yet to be debated on that number two it had subsection b whereby they were saying as an interim relief to them nurses should be told to stop striking go back to work go back to work no they said they should stop striking uh, i'm a nurse so it would be very difficult for me to interpret yeah it says go back to work yeah they were saying you should stop striking so that's basically what they were saying the the third one they were saying this nurses who are already earning nothing they should pay for their legal fees so that's that nurses so what happened post that period nurses association through its lawyer uh, wrote to Tsepon the following day after we went out of court uh, trying to negotiate with them to see how best can we do what we were told to do because we were advised to solve this problem as amicable as possible because it involves other people's lives. So upon us writing a letter requesting an agent meeting so that uh, nurses can continue saving people's lives, Tsepon told us that they are busy through letters that we will share with you. They said they are busy Therefore, they will see us on Thursday next week. The court case was on Wednesday. We wrote to them on Thursday and they said they're busy. They would see us Thursday the following week. And it, it was kind of odd for them to have said the issues are urgent in court. And when we come out of court, we want to deal with uh, issues urgently. They, they, they did not, uh, yeah, they did not take them as urgent as that. So before, a day before the meeting, they just told us that they can't have a meeting with us. So what is happening right now is that nurses are still not at work. All those nurses that I mentioned.